Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. We have smart homes, we have smart devices, but at the end of the day, controlling them is always going to be a challenge because we don't always have our smart devices with us. And of course, we want to be able to control them as easy as just pushing one button and being able to turn off the lights behind me. And of course, if I want to be able to turn them on back again, press the button one more time and I can get them back. This is the flick button. It's a smart button that enables us to control our smart devices. Let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. And of course, thank you very much to Flick for sponsoring this video, but the opinions that I'm sharing with you guys today are of me using this device for the last couple of weeks. Now, as you saw there, the package includes everything that you need to be able to start using it. Uh, the main hub just needs to be connected either over Ethernet or Wi-Fi directly to your home connection. And then from there, you need to actually set it up directly within the Flick app that's available on both Android and iOS. For me, I installed it on my Galaxy S21 Ultra and of course, we went from there to install and automate some functionalities around the office as well as the house. The first thing that I'll probably say is that setting this up is actually quite simple, but if you do need any help, they do have a link within the setup to be able to actually follow through on how to set up automation specifically when it comes down to Alexa. Now, I have some uh, LifeX lights that are actually controlled in the background. That's what we were controlling at the beginning. And I've already pre-programmed my device here to do uh, automation. Now we have three different setups here. We have a one single push, that's the one push, and that turns on or off or even toggles. You can customize it within the app pressing it again, just toggles it again, and will turn on the lights for us. Now, the double push for me, it's controlling a separate light. So if I double press here, that's gonna turn off a separate light. You can see a little bit of a difference there. And if I, of course, double press it again, it'll turn it on. The other option is the ability of turning off all of those lights by just pressing and holding it for an extended amount of time and then letting it go, and it shuts off those lights. Really, really nice, and I push it one more time, it's gonna turn on the lights back there, and then double time, it's gonna turn off, turn on that light. Very simple, absolutely simple, simple to use. And now what I like about these is that there's four of them in the actual package and you can customize each to do three different things. So think of it this way, it's four times three. And again, that's 12 different automation things that you can do around the house. Now each button has a sticky pad that's present on the back, which makes them easy to customize and of course put in different parts of the house. Now, anything that Alexa can control in your home, this will be able to tap into. That's the main benefit here. Now, LifeX has the ability of going through the Alexa app, but you don't have to. Now, what I'm showing you right there here is a simple process of me being able to turn on one main light, and that's the main light around the actual office. And of course, the ability of forcing or uh, requesting Alexa to make a command or actually say something. You can automate whatever Alexa can control, so be it lights, be it thermostats, be it the front door camera, or even ask it to do certain things all by going through the routines tab within your Alexa system. So in the Flick app, you just select the Alexa option. And then from there, you jump over to the routines section in the Alexa app and you're pretty much set to go. And from there, it's pretty easy to go. Now there's a couple of things we can do. One, I decided to make one specifically set for music. I like to be able to initiate some music in the office without having to call out and ask command. I just wanna be able to push one button and then let the stereo start, well, or station start playing. <laughs> Stop. Now, as you heard there, it actually was pretty simple. I pushed the button, it automatically initiated it. Now I have it set up with the Echo Show, but it literally works with any Alexa connected to your account. So just keep that in mind. It's not really restricted to a specific type of account. So as long as you're able to go in and customize it within the routines, this is actually gonna work very, very nicely. Now the starter kit that we're looking at today includes four buttons, the hub, a USB type, a micro USB cable to be able to charge it with the USB type A to the adapter. And there's a different options for the adapter as well to be able to see uh, if it works for different countries. So it's actually pretty Pretty easy to transfer with you if you're going somewhere else. Now for me, I went ahead and connected it over Wi-Fi, but for you guys, you can also use Ethernet if you'd like. There's a full-size Ethernet port there. Uh, there's also a 3.5 millimeter output, uh, audio output, and of course, an extension IR option if you'd like to use it, depending on the setup that you have and where you end up putting the actual hub. Um, overall, the process was very simple to set up. Once you have it set up, it's easy. As you saw, the response time is actually quite fast, even though I was on Wi-Fi. And I would imagine that going over Ethernet would be even faster since there's no latency in the recommendation or even in the initiation. Uh, the main thing I would probably say is configure it, figure out what you want to do. And again, you don't necessarily have to just use Alexa. You can use some of the other options that are available there. Uh, it is available, obviously, and will work with Apple HomeKit. So if you do use that, that'll also work very nicely for you. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, the Apple HomeKit, so I wasn't able to test it out for you guys, but uh, let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the Flick Smart Button? And uh, do you see that this is a good functional option to be able to automate and of course, simplify smart devices around the home using a smart button? Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.